Bass Fair 880. Holy crap, he's making a video. Yes, I am. Um, yes, yes, I get those comments and messages all the time. When's the next boat video? Why aren't you doing any more Jeep videos? And, man, I tell you what. Uh, family will take all your time away, and that's fine. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to make you a video, as all of y'all have asked for, and it's actually going to be kind of everything combined. I'm going to do a vlog. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I'm going to do a vlog. Yep, that's right. We're going to do a vlog. You're going to come on a, uh, a little um, errand that I've got to run. I'm barely going to do any editing to this. This is going to just be raw. Um, and that's it. So what's been going on? Well, for one, the Jeep has paid off. Yay! Yes, I finally paid the Jeep off. My drone business, where I do professional photography and videography and stuff, has exploded. All I do is go film high-end real estate, or well, any real estate properties. So, I'm being, my time is into that. Um, the wife finally quit her job and is now a stay-at-home mother. She's working on um, possibly opening up her own business uh, selling some stuff on Amazon and you guys are going to help because I'm going to do a video in the next couple of days of a product that she's going to be selling that I actually think is bad to the bone and I think a lot of, the, of my subscribers would like it and I'm going to try to do something where I can get y'all a little discount but if I do it what I need is honest feedback of what you think about the product because that's the only way her product's going to succeed so it's 9 18 in the morning it's Wednesday. It's It was supposed to be raining today. Um, what we're doing right now is we're going to my warehouse to possibly and hopefully get the boat. I'm not going to the lake today, no. Um, it's dusty. Let's see if I can do this. The, uh, the boat's got a ton of dust on it, and it's horrible. It's bad. This is my office uh, building right over there. And the sad thing about it is I haven't even been to my office in a couple of weeks. And my mail shows it. So let's, uh, let's go step into the warehouse and see about getting this boat. So what's been going on? Um, I got the IRS. I got an IRS letter a couple of weeks ago wanting to audit my business. I tell you what, that's one of the scariest letters anybody can ever get. About made me poop in my pants. But the thing about it is, folks, I take my business very seriously. There's one thing I can assure anybody. I have never screwed anything on my taxes. I was pissed, too. IRS tried to screw me last year saying that I had reported... Uh, double, I hadn't reported double the income that I actually received when it turned out they scanned something into their scanner incorrectly. So I had to fight that. But uh, welcome to my warehouse. I just got the letter. I didn't want to show it on camera because it's got some personal information. I just got the letter from the IRS that I just pulled out of the mailbox saying the investigation is completed and it's agreed that what I reported is what should be on the taxes. Them bastards. I'm sorry. Ah, there's the boat. There's the boat. So let's see if we can do this here. Hmm. Nope, you can't do that that way. Ah, screw it. Golly. So here is the boat. That's sad. <sighs> That's why you don't have more boat videos. Poor boat. <sighs> ah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get the truck out of the warehouse. That's my... Uh, I'm very fortunate to have an incredible work truck, but it's got about 300,000 miles on it. Ah, but she runs like a top. We're going to get this thing out of here. I've got to, I've got to hook the battery back up. I've got a, it's from last year where I had moved everything out of the way, the disconnected power cables. I've got to hook the battery back up so I can get my outdrive back up for uh, moving the boat around. 
I always keep that down at, as low as I possibly can to uh, keep less stress on the bellows and the U-joint and stuff. Um, so give me a second real quick and I'll grab a wrench and we'll start putting the battery cables back. It's amazing this battery is still in working condition. All right, everything's tight. I'm gonna put this back. Now, when I took the battery cables off last season, I did it in such a way where if anybody's ever put one of these covers back on, they know how much of a pain of a butt this strap is. So I'm gonna route these cables to this groove right here or this uh, area where it's poked out for them to go through, tighten the strap, and let's get this out drive raised. Last season, I had a problem with the battery. Hey, that's always good. Yay! Now, as tempting as it might be, you know, a lot of people, well, I'm just going to bump the key real quick. Don't do that. I always have water hooked up because I have had it happen on a Bayliner many years ago that me and my wife fixed up and resold. And um, the impeller had seated itself just enough on the housing where when it was bumped with no. Uh, water it shredded itself now i'm hoping when i drive down the highway a lot of this crap's gonna blow off um all right let's get the truck out of here all right cool poor truck hasn't been started in two weeks ish 289, 287,000 miles, I'm sorry. You gotta put it in neutral. Let it sit for a few minutes because uh, the transmission fluid or something drains out of the torque converter or something. But then you put it in gear, she does just fine. How's the Jeep been doing? Great, actually really well I haven't had any issues with the exception of the rear passenger um, axle seal decided to go out Other than that, the uh, engine driver's side engine head all that ticking issues fixed no problems at all all right we're ready to go for me and my and my jeep this is what i have in this back compartment i've got a halon fire extinguisher that probably isn't charged anymore and i've got a bunch of straps in the back and a little puny toolkit and my camera that i installed y'all remember that video so the question is, man, does that backup camera really work? Yes. Yes, it does. See, got the boat pulled out. What I'm gonna do, I'll back up using the camera. Most of the times I can do this. the hitch will hit the rear tire just like that. All right. I'm gonna laugh if that goes right onto the ball. That'd be nice. Hallelujah. All right. 
We're plugged up, hitched up, ready to go. Oh yes, how many of y'all have done this? Can you believe, what the? Oh. See, real time. Well, I guess I'll have to glue this. That sucks. Should be able to put it back on though. Yeah, that'll work for right now. Souvenir. Everything's hooked up, ready to go. You know, yes, you should have your toe straps in the back hooked up. We're gonna be going about probably 10 miles to the house. Um, I always like to put the center divider down as well. I'm gonna have to climb in the back here in a few minutes after I pull this out to uh, where the life jackets don't blow out. Not sure if they would or not, but Let's see what the fuel smells like. Should be fine. Yeah. This tire over here looks good. Um, Bayliner trailers are notorious for losing their fenders because there's a uh, screw that goes into the plastic on the other side. A quick modification is take them suckers out and put some screws through the plastic with uh, locking nuts on the bottom and washers ah, she looks good doesn't she yeah I have a thing for blue there should be a disease for it Jeep's dirty though but man it's just a Baylighter boat they're not special maybe to you what's unique about this it's paid off it's paid off yep we are good to go. Let's go uh, pull the truck around back into the warehouse. <clears throat> That's it. Not that that will work to save anybody from trying to break in here. Not really anything in here to take, but you never know. One more check of the trailer before we head on the highway. I've got to get those life jackets real quick. I'm going to turn the camera off just for a second. Stuff is stowed away. Actually, one of those bags was an anchor. I found a heck of a deal on a Yamaha anchor on eBay. Normally they're like $259. Some dealership had it on eBay for like 50 bucks. Heck of a deal. Everything looks good to go. Everything's secure. All right, let's go home. Well, she's pulling good. Didn't blow much dust off getting on the highway. I guess that's fine. Good boat bath will do her well. Um, should be back home shortly. Yay, we're home. Let's hook it up. You gonna start it now? Shoot, yeah. It's up for sale. I'll tell you about it a little bit later. Um, let's go grab the hose, which is down here, and uh, let me grab some muffs, and we'll be right back. All right, got the hose hooked up, got the muffs hooked up, got the water turned on a little bit. One thing about 3.0 Merc Cruisers, the, uh, even though it has a turnkey start system, the uh, carburetor likes to drain itself empty after sitting a period of time. So, I am going to turn the blower on just for poops and giggles, just for a few minutes. I'm going to turn the key just for a second. And then I'm gonna pump the I'm gonna pump the throttle about probably ten times honestly. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Alright. Oh That's good. I like that. Voltage 
Looks good. Oil pressure is coming up. Hear the hissing of the TKS system. So I'm going to keep an eye on a couple of things. Number one, I'm going to keep an eye on my temperature. Also, you know, your voltage and your oil pressure. But also, make sure you're pumping water out back. That at least lets me know that the uh, water pump's working or the impeller is working. down the idle. Yeah, we're good to go. Grab the, uh, get my wife's car out of the garage. Try to keep the Mustang in there and back this puppy up here. I don't even know how long the video is now, but Mustang is there. Jeep is on the other side. Wife has just left to pick the kids up from Bible study, or not Bible, vacation Bible school. And the garage is cleared out and also blew the crap out of the driveway. So, let's go get the boat. Well, that's not too bad on the first try. What's cool is, I can see where I usually back into my uh, garage. I mean, where I damage my garage, should I say. I got her unhitched. Yeah, I got a tight fit in my garage. So I'm gonna actually walk it over a little bit further and the funny thing about it is I can actually get my Mustang back in here or another car once I have this thing correctly put in the garage so how's that for musical cars right now I've got the boat this way so I can work on it but when I have to close the garage door I've got to scoot it more towards the Mustang at least the tongue area but uh now it's time to go back to work and do some cable stuff and then later on I'll come back out and do some stuff to the boat. A nice soft cloth, wet, ringed out with a teensy bit of dirt, uh, dish soap, a clean dry towel that will dry up pretty well. Don't use this, it'll scratch your boat up. Works well on mine though. So I'm just gonna wipe it down and the reason being why I'm doing it this way is um, we washed this boat really well before we put it up for storage last year so I mean the majority of the dirt is going to be just dust now guys I know I know golly man it's a boat let the stupid thing get dirty I hear you this boat means a lot to me I mean I, I know it's just materialistic but um, for me it was an accomplishment it just it meant a lot to find this nice boat pay it off um go broke and pay it off but it's paid off and you know have something for the kids so while i can i'm gonna keep it nice and spotless within reason i get it within reason so uh yeah i'm just gonna wipe her down get her all nice and clean and be ready to go Those windows shine now. 
Look at that. She looks good now. I haven't done that part yet, but I've done all the vacuuming of the carpet and everything. Just got to get the front of the boat and uh, she'll be clean. 30 minutes and I'm sweating like a dog right now. 30 minutes is all it took. She is, in my opinion, spotless. Look at the nice shiny windshield. Man. Yes, sir. She's ready. That's it. Boat's done. Man, it is hot outside. It is, it's hot. I just wiped myself off with a towel. 20 minute video, I don't know. Let me know what you think of a vlog video versus a video every six months. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alrighty, what's the, uh, let's see if we can do this. So, a couple of videos coming. This is gonna be a Jeep video coming in about two days. Um, somebody reached out to me via the uh, Jeep top, soft top video. These are new redesigned roll bar handles. These are awesome. And if you've ever installed the original Jeep ones, this could turn out to be a good thing. And this is going to be the special thing that I need your help with. Guys, I need your help with this more than anything. 6,000 subscribers, <laughs> we only ordered 300 of these things. These are gonna rock. These are, are basically, it's a blanket made out of parachute material. And it's very convenient. Hey, pumpkin. <laughs> They're very convenient. They're really, I mean, these things rock. You just um, shake them to get all the dirt and stuff off of them, you know, except for stains and stuff. And other than that, you throw it in a wash machine. But these things rock. These things are awesome. I'm not doing it because my wife did it, but if you have a Jeep, if you have a boat, a boat and a Jeep, hey, my channel, right? Um, so we're gonna have a video coming up soon I want y'all's help with, and I'll make it worthwhile to y'all as well. So, 20 minute video. Guys, thanks again for watching the videos. Click subscribe or like around here, and we will see you soon.